Joining us tonight, Congressman Matt Gates, member of the House Judiciary and Armed Services Committees. Congressman, good to have you with us. Uh, your reaction as you watched the hearing uh, unfold before you, and I know you had to do the busy work there uh, as a member of the committee, but That's right. were you not absolutely shocked to watch the former special counsel uh, in his performance? Now, that was not the Robert Mueller I was expecting. And we take us, ourselves back to the, just the beginning of the week. Adam Schiff said that Robert Mueller would be breathing life into the Mueller report. The reality was he ended up sucking all of the life out of the impeachment movement. And I think we heard the death rattle for impeachment at the conclusion of Robert Mueller's testimony before our committees. And, Lou, even before Robert Mueller testified, more Americans thought that his investigation was unfair than there were Americans who thought the investigation was fair. And that's even from an ABC News more Morning consult right. poll. And so after his testimony, I think that even more Americans have been subjected to the bias, the really bizarre choices that Robert Mueller made to only seem to go after the Trump campaign and to diminish the real collusion that I think occurred between Russians and those who were opposing President Trump's election. Yeah, I, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's almost uncomfortable to think about relitigating the special counsel issue but because it to. was a witch hunt from the very beginning. Uh, it is clear that uh, I knew that, uh, as I said here on this broadcast last night, that Mueller hadn't written, authored the report, but I thought at least he had read it. Uh, that is obviously not the case. Uh, your no, thoughts? there were... Your there thoughts. were multiple circumstances where Robert Mueller lacked a basic understanding of the facts that you've been talking on on your show and that, that even many of us on the Judiciary Committee have become familiar with. He didn't know who Fusion GPS was. That was the company hired to go and create this opposition research file on the president that ended up launching this investigation. But, Lou, this is why the work of Attorney General Bill Barr is so important. Now we know that the president was falsely accused. We know that his reaction to that that false accusation is not going to rise to any criminal culpability. But what we don't know with certainty yet are the individuals in the Obama White House and the Obama administration that really ginned up these lies in the first place. And that's why I think that the work of the attorney general should isolate the Brennans and Clappers and Comeys and McCabe's who were part of the deep state apparatus that launched this corrupt investigation. But, but here's the thing, one, one more point. They're not done. Like, what's crazy about this is that I think there are still some of the radical Democrats mm -hmm. who want yet another do-over. They weren't satisfied yeah, with I... the written report. They weren't satisfied with Mueller. Now they want to bring in Mueller's whole team and ask them questions. So they didn't want to just turn the book into a movie. Mm -hmm. Now they want to recast the movie with mm -hmm. new cast members. Well, they're far from having a movie. They're very far from having a plot that other than... Uh, the radical uh, Dems, the Democrats, have become the party of hate, uh, and they have carried out efforts over the course of three years to s stop the candidacy of Donald Trump and then try to overthrow his presidency. I, I'm, get I'm getting very, I'm very leery, uh, Congressman, of the expression do-over. I'm very leery of the expression hoax, because this was an outright effort to stop Donald Trump in his tracks and uh, to subvert the will of the American people uh, and this president. Uh, it is, these are not people, and I have to give you a compliment, and, and the Republicans on the Judiciary Committee. That is the first hearing, and you're not going to like how I phrase this uh, a compliment. It is the first hearing that I watched in which the Republicans were prepared to take on the issues and the man in front of them as they attacked this president. And I've got to tell you, uh, it was good to see. It was the most preparation that our team has done for any hearing. I credit our ranking member, Doug Collins, for bringing the team together, forcing us to really be precise in our questions to make sure we were well-researched. What we could not have prepared for was how poorly uh, Robert Mueller performed in the response to our questions, his lack of understanding, uh, his poor memory. And, and then now, this also, is the same guy, uh, though, Congressman, and, and, and I understand uh, your uh, your empathy. But this is the after all, the same man who yesterday was calling before those two committees, the Intelligence Committee and yours, uh, Judiciary, uh, calling the president names. He was still a, a, uh, an agent of hate. Uh, and working against the interest of both the nation and this president. 
Well, yeah, Robert Mueller took this job knowing that this was a rotten deal. So I don't have great sympathy for him, but I think it demonstrated a dynamic where there really are no facts. There was never any evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. And what's so crazy to the average American watching all this unfold is that instead of evaluating how this corrupt investigation began, you've got Democrats who want to tweeze through the president's response to being falsely accused of something that was impairing his ability yeah. to lead the free world. That is really what should bother all Americans. And cleaning up the corruption at uh, the deep state is really uh, central to our focus going forward. Yeah. The deep state, in this instance, it amounts to... Uh, uh, whatever residue there is of the radical Dems and the radical left uh, and the Democratic Party uh, within the Justice Department and the FBI, who are politically corrupt to the bone uh, and who have to be removed uh, from wherever uh, they are within the Justice Department and the FBI, because that job, as you are pointing out, is a long way from done. Certainly. Con Congressman, you get the last word here. Well, I'm deeply disappointed in the budget deal that Republicans and Democrats joined in passing right now. It will suck a trillion dollars this next year out of the American economy to fund the largesses of government. And Republicans will pay for this. We cannot continue to be the party of massive spending. And I'm deeply disappointed that we didn't fight harder for spending cuts. I hope we do better when we come back in the fall. Well, I'd just like to remind you, you didn't do better uh, when Paul Ryan was speaker. Uh, and passed a $1.3 trillion omnibus bill. I hate to be... Uh, no, uh, you're right. You're right. I, well, we I have failed right. to keep I our I just promises. hate to have to remind uh, everyone of uh, the failures of both parties. Yeah, and, and frankly, we need a new generation of leaders in the Congress who will actually stand up for hardworking American taxpayers and American families who have to make choices at the kitchen table at the end of every month regarding a, a financial budget. And here in Washington, we just continue to pass the buck to the next generation. History will yeah. judge us harshly for this. Well, history will, and uh, polling has. Uh, mm -hmm. The numbers, uh, the approval numbers for the United States Congress and Senate are are, well, disastrous. Congressman, great to see you. We'll end on Good that happy you, note. Congressman Matt Gates, thank thanks so much.